Hi everyone, um, welcome to another episode. Um, today we are going to discuss a problem that was asked in Snapchat. Um, the problem states something like this. Um, given a string, find the length of the smallest window that contains every distinct character. Characters may appear more than once in a window. For example, given this word, you should return 5. Um, to better understand this problem, um, let me draw it and show how it works. So, let's say, okay, so the word here is something like this. U-I-J-I-T-S-U. Now, they want to know what is the length of the string, substring or a string, where you get unique characters. Let's say, for example, if you see this substring, which is length three, it's 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 continuous because a substring is a continuous uh, string of character uh, array of characters. So the length here is three. Similarly, if I try to add this character here it will become a length of four but you see it's no more has unique characters so so that way i need to output the longest substring that has unique characters so in our case one solution would be if i have a substring this which is of length five uh, the other substring could be this which is also of length five. So you just need to return the length and you don't care about the exact characters involved in that interval. So what is the way we can solve this? Um, one way that comes to our mind is let's, let's first figure out all possible substrings right all possible substrings will include let's say j comma i let me write it like this uh, yeah so one is j i u j i t s u then j i j u sorry it should be i u U J J I again I T similarly J I U so in order to generate all possible substrings it takes O of n square right and then once you have all the substrings um, then you iterate over each to see uh, which one has the unique characters and which is which is of the longest length but can we do better for sure so let's look at another approach that is much quicker and faster so let me type here G -I -G -I -T -S -E. So we are going to make use of uh, two, something called as two pointers. So it's, it's a two pointer problem where I consider, let's say two variables. One is start. Okay. One is end. Right. And uh, one more assumption that the problem gives us is all the characters are lowercase. So that means it has most possible characters that it will have will be 26 character which is from small a to z so it will belong to this set small a to z so i am taking an auxiliary space it's a constant space of 26 i'm calling it an array of ch right so how do i how do i solve this using this two pointer so i'll start my start from here right my start is here my end is here 
right now in each iteration i increment my end so when i'm starting start is zero end is zero now when i when i increment my end becomes let me denote start by s and end by end by e so this is s and then after one iteration e comes here end comes here so i check whether this i whether i have encountered this character i before which is not so i keep track of a length which is my max length till now and i update it as 2 because j i is 2 now i iterate e again i'll remove this e right and now my length becomes 3 now i again increment e which is which will take me to j now here is the catch now every time i encounter a letter or a character i increment the value of of this array so initially my character at c of j was 1 c of i is 1 c of w is 1 right now as soon as my e comes here which is j my i see that this value is already one that means i have already encountered j before so what i start doing now i start increment my s variable which is the start variable so and i also decrease this value so i increment the start by one so before incrementing with in each increment before each increment i decrement decrement this uh, start like the current start uh, value because you know the substring is a continuous string so till the time i reach j uh, i need to decrement all the values previous to it so i inc i decrement it to zero and i increment my s to here now i see that this j has already been incre decremented so don't touch it so this no but now my end is at j so i again increment it to one now now i increment e in another iteration which is it moves to next character now what happens when i come to i i see it's already one that means i need to decrease i right so what i'll do here is i'll start incrementing my s variable which is start variable till i have reached i which is like i'm already at i here so i move it to zero i move my s right and i move it to u sorry this is u here sorry for balance writing and then i increment i which is correct so similarly i move keep moving forward because now i have i haven't encountered t and s so my e moves till here till this point now now what happens is uh, my u where as soon as i increment e i encounter u which i already have encountered here so i again do that you start thing and i increment s uh, to here e to here so and then after after i am after each iteration i am also calculating the length so i'm calculating the length as end minus start 
plus one right so I keep 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 the track of length as well uh, in this case I'll add a max check as well that check the max between the previous length which I had calculated to the current length which I have um, let's let's understand this better with another example so let me write G or U I okay so my start variable will be let me take start variable here and variable here let me write the pseudo code to better understand this is a while loop and i'm considering this as length 0 Three, four, five, six, which is n. Length is n. So while e is less than n, I do n e plus plus. And you remember I was taking an auxiliary array of twenty six. So I'll be doing ch character at e. But before plus plus we need to check whether it's already greater than f of e is already greater than zero. We'll walk through the code uh, once my once I write the pseudo code here. While s is less than n and ch of s of e. S plus plus CH oh, before that to do CH of string. So I'm considering this as capital S. So this is capital S here. Minus minus. minus. And then I do again and then I keep track of length as max of length comma end which is E in our case minus start plus one okay so we'll walk through this pseudo code to understand better so initially my s is zero e is zero now i check while e is less than six which is correct my e becomes one so i move e here so e moves here right um, I check whether the I've already encountered I which is not that's fine so I don't go into this if I increment I so initially initially my C of U is one C of so before I I'll just do this because we are at the first value so it's always one then C of ch of i is becomes one now i take the length and length i find as e is one minus start zero plus one which is two right so my length becomes two now i move to the next element so my e becomes this j i haven't encountered j yet so i 
put the value of ch of j as 1 because the code will come here the code won't go inside the if this 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 whole block is it so and then i take the length as max of length which is 2 comma e is right now 2 minus 0 plus 1 which becomes 3 now i come to t so i increment basically e plus plus so e becomes this cut this and then ch of t becomes 1 i don't go under if condition again because this is not valid right so and then i increment this ch of t equal to 1 and then length becomes 4 right now again i increment e which is e comes here and the e becomes 4 right now ch of e i haven't encountered s yet so i don't go under if and then i have this so i increment ch of s equals to 1 and then i calculate length again so length becomes 5 because it's 4 minus 0 plus 1 now this is the interesting case where e becomes this right so now what happens now it goes under the if condition because ch of j is 1 now what i do i have a start variable i have start less than e i check this if while condition so this while condition is basically to reach to a state where i don't have j at all and i reach here right so basically i do ch of s of s which is i decrement u so u becomes zero then i increment s now s becomes here so i decrement this again right and then i increment s so s becomes two now s two is less than e and ch of j is again one so i come here now i move this to zero now what happens is next time when i do increment s s comes here right i pass j but now ch of s of j is no more greater than one because it's already zero because s of e s of five is e is j so count of j is no more one which is greater than zero so i come out of while loop i come out of f and i increment j now because i am at j so i increment this my s is at three i calculate the new length which is new length is five minus three which is two plus one three so because the length of this is three but my max length is already five so i won't update length as five because we need to consider five now my e becomes this e u is zero so it won't go under if i increment u again i try to calculate this which is six minus three which is three plus one four but four is less than the max length of five which we already have found to be from here to here right this is our max length five so this is how my pseudo code is so the overall time complexity of this problem will be o of n why because max we are gonna touch each character twice because once one this is the while loop will be iterating over once and for if some condition like this happens where the count is more we saw that we traversed this u i j and t these four elements two times which is a constant and not variable so overall time complexity stays at o of n which is better than the previous approach we saw which we discussed so um, i'll be sharing the c plus plus code in the description of the video below uh, please like the video uh, and share and subscribe uh, thank you guys